G'day team, it's your old mate the Kiwi Badger and we're doing a bit of a review today This is the beast, Suzuki Boulevard S40. Uh, quite a tight little, geez, that tank's shaking quite a bit. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, it's quite a, I think it's quite a nice looking little bike. It definitely looks smaller than you'd imagine a 650 to be. But as I say, it's, it's not an ugly bike. She wants to modify it and paint it and she wants to put a single seat on it. Have a guard that comes down, more like a bobber. which I think is a good idea. Well, this is KB's new bike, which is a 2016 Suzuki Boulevard S40. This is a 650cc single cylinder belt driven bike. Uh, it is what we call a LAMS approved bike. So this bike in New Zealand is uh, for learners and those on their restricted license. I think standard this is about 31 horsepower, uh, it's a 5 speed bike, it's got a solid single rotor in the front and drum brakes in the rear. It's a very quiet bike, it doesn't have a, a loud exhaust which is, you know, that's okay I guess, you can always change that out if that's what you want to do. It's got a very short first gear and if I'm going to be, um, I suppose, harsh and blunt it's quite gutless in first gear and then there's quite a sharp curve in the power delivery in second gear early on in second gear um, yeah it jumps up considerably it cruises along quite nicely everything's very user friendly which is what you want in a learner approved motorcycle um, yeah it's not an ugly looking bike I think it's quite a nice looking little bike and when I say little, I'm only comparing it to what I'm currently riding. Uh, if I compare this to my very first road bike, which was a Yamaha YB100, uh, this is six times or six and a half times larger in engine capacity. But I have no doubt that this will be able to cruise quite comfortably at open road speeds. It's got a very comfortable seat, uh, it's got quite trendy little bars on it, it's got very basic controls, it does not have a, look at this guy, pick a lane brother, it does not have a fuel gauge, it has a pet cop or a fuel tap, so when it starts running out of fuel you turn the tap to get to the reserve tank. Uh, Mrs KB's only had this bike, it's done 59 kilometres only. 59. The dealer filled it up with gas when she bought it, so I dare say this will probably do three to four hundred kilometres on a single tank. Uh, around corners, it's very compliant, it leans in, it doesn't feel sketchy, it feels well planted, it feels secure. If you like cruisers and you're of a smaller stature, then I would fully recommend this bike as a first bike. It also doesn't have a tachometer or a chip counter, which I find a little odd. Even on the cruiser, in this day and age, you think they'd have a way of integrating the two.